In this video, we are going to study linear regression residual standard error in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video is we need to load the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, which is packages. And for loading packages, we use a library function and within it the name of the package. So for this video, we'll be using AER for data. To run this code line, as it is a single code line, we select any part of it and we can either click run or we can press continue on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we'll be using data function and within it the name of the data object, which is house prices. This house prices object is located within AER package. So again, as we have a single code line to run it, we select any part of it and we can go back and click run or we can press control enter on the keyboard. So here we see that the house prices object is created within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, this opens the data for us. And in this video, we're going to focus on the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. And the reason for this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is the dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, which is house prices, select it, and you'll see the documentation below. So now we're going to continue with number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object name MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, which is equal to, and here we'll be using LM function, and within it, the following parameters, which are formula equals to, and we have price as a dependent or explained variable. This special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object that we created above. And to run this code line, we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And now we're going to continue with step number four, which are results from that regression. And for printing results, we use summary.lm function and within it the name of the object, which is MLR. If you have any questions regarding this summary M summary lm function you can go into the help tab and search for the object name or also within the console you can input question mark summary dot lm without parenthesis and you can press enter on the keyboard and you'll see the documentation within the help tab there we are so let's go ahead and run this code line by pressing ctrl enter on the keyboard and here we see the results being printed so if we scroll up we can see the summary results from MLR multiple linear regression. And specifically, if we focus at the bottom, we can see the residual standard error and the residual degrees of freedom. So this residual standard error is a goodness of fit metric for the multiple linear regression. And it is equal to the square root of the residuals mean square error. Therefore, here, what we're going to do next is create a new object, which is going to be named SMLR, or Summary Multiple Linear Regression, equals to, and we're going to store the results from that summary.lm. So, summary.lm, and within it, we have MLR object. And we're going to press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard, and we can see the object being created within the global environment, which is summary.lm type. And to print the residual standard error directly, we do so with SMLR, that object we just created, and with the dollar sign, we get its sigma attribute. And we press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard, and we can see the residual standard error being printed. And now we're also going to do the calculation of this residual standard error manually. Therefore, we have SQRT, so the square root, and as mentioned previously within this definition, we have that the residual standard error is the square root of the mean square error. Therefore, to do the calculation of this mean square error of the residuals, we have the sum, and within parentheses, we have 
MLR and with the dollar sign we get its residuals this to the power of 2 divided by and also from MLR object we get with the dollar sign BF dot residual therefore we have as mentioned previously the square root of the residuals mean square error which by itself is equal to the sum of those residuals to the power of 2 divided by the number of degrees of freedom of the residuals. So here to run this code line we press Control enter on the keyboard and we see the result printed below which is the manual calculation of that residual standard error. Okay so with this we finish with the code file so we go ahead and save it and with this we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.